Hello, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, if you could see the behind the scenes of... Uh... Anyway, to make a long story short, this is on a Monday. It's typically on Thursdays that I film or that I upload it. Yes, I was about to say air it, film it. No, no. Um, little mishap, little, little, little family life drama, little family dealings, the sick child. So kitten film for the last few days no big deal well I don't know if it is to you but I had to deal with what I had to deal with and I know you understand so without further ado this is my shot my stash and since this is the long one I am going to get into it I will tell you real quick, quick why it's the long one this is if you've watched my channel for any length of time my shot my stash is once a month I do everything including lips and then on the two weeks in the midweek I should say or the middle of the month I just do um, face and eyes but this is the first of the month so we are doing lips and I got a lot so let's get busy all right let's start with the um, old and of course as you know I always do a review of the old and then I quickly go through the new so Yes, got to have this. Actually, this wasn't even in it. Sorry, forget that. <laughs> I had that in there by accident. I need it though. I am actually, it is actually part of the new. So, spoiler alert, I'll talk that about that in a minute. Oh, this is my new. So, I hope there's no old in there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Get that out of there. <laughs> this is my old with some tissues in there. Don't worry about the tissues. Not really a big deal. Um, primer. The Pure Correcting Primer um, Illuminate and Glow. It's not... I haven't tried a whole lot of glow or illuminating primers, so I cannot say how good this is. But if you see me looking over to the side, I'm watching the time. I'm trying to make this a minimum of... A maximum of 30 but who knows but anyway is it the best I don't know because I haven't tried very many so we're, we're gonna find out but it does give some illumination not a lot but maybe that's all that is supposed to so I don't know anyway <laughs> one word <clears throat> no uh -uh. this is the model's own foundation it is a matte foundation it the white writing, <laughs> I can't even tell you what it says because it's white writing and I can't read it, but no, definitely not. Um, it makes my face look like a desert. It's like, you know how a desert, the ground breaks up and cracks? Yeah, huh? that's similar. And I think also too, the shade is so white too that it also is a bit on the eh, side so it's probably another reason but I even tried it with this glowy it just I can make it work but it just no nah. <laughs> that's that's going into declutter just can't do it okay <coughs> that is also something this this is pretty good I just realized I didn't pull up my powder. Sorry, trying to do two things at once while we're talking to you. This is this is a really good concealer. It is very super coverage. Um, not the most intense, but it is high coverage. I definitely will say full coverage. Full coverage. Sorry. It definitely is a full coverage. I would say it's a medium to full, but it's you can probably build this up to full. Um, I wear it under my eyes. That's about the only place. And I always do a very light concealer under my eyes because my face is fairly white anyway. So, as you can probably tell. Um, <clears throat> with this powder combination, I don't know if I didn't put enough powder on that day, but I did notice one day it started to break up right in here just right along the edges of the um, lines. That is a hard place to get, so I might have missed it with some powder. I used my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Love this. I'm not going to say anything bad about it, because I love it. 
Um, I only powder my under eyes though, so who knows. <laughs> but I don't like to powder my face anymore because I need the moisture. I'm getting older. I have an oily face, but I'm getting older. Alright, moving along. Yep, moving along. <laughs> okay, eyes, 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 eyes. Okay, actually let's finish the face. Girl, we all know about my blusher. I'm using the, um, the, um, sorry. I'm using the um, e.l.f. blusher, trying to use it up completely. Um, it's beautiful. I love the color. I'm wearing it now because it's going back into my shop mustache. Uh, 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 uh. It is very in here. My bad. Yeah, well, we're not going to pull it out because I have a 10 second rule <laughs> of my own. If I don't find it in 10 seconds, I move on. And I'm not. It probably could be out for all I know. But yeah, it's really good. Um, still, no problems with it. Anyway, this is what I used for my um, my highlighter and my bronzer. And this is the Ultra Sculpting Contour Kit in Ultra Fair. Totally so dark enough. Totally works for me. And that is a beautiful beautiful highlight gorgeous highlight so totally like this totally worth it um i am excited i'm gonna do a project band soon ah! okay another here another moving on wow that took two minutes jeez louise ay, 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 ay. <laughs> okay now on to the eyes my morphe 350s i believe and matt m matt I would like to have the S just because I think some of these would be gorgeous in shimmers. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, I'm actually tossing this back in the mix just because it, I didn't give it enough love this past two weeks. So I'm actually tossing this back in. I like Morphe's shadows. I know a lot of people have problems with Morphe themselves, but I like Morphe's shadows. What can I say? That's part of next. That's part of next. Then there is my um, Too Faced Sugar Plum Fun. Sorry, I didn't need to blind you if I did. Freaking love this palette. It's just so pretty. The colors in it are so pretty. This. This color magic touch here. Okay. Thanks. Super, super beautiful as a single standalone shadow. You want something soft and and normal, which I did do. Uh, I didn't use this though. I did not. Um, I don't know if you can see that at all. I'll try to get better lighting in here, but I don't think I did that great of a job. But, sorry, <laughs> I can't open the door. My son closed it, so. <clears throat> this color, I did do an all-over lid color with, this is called, uh, Quinn, <laughs> one more time. Sorry, cat keeps opening the door. In and out. This is Metal Petal. Hold on. Thank you, JoJo. I'm going to do it like this. That is a gorgeous shade too. It's just pigmented enough and dark enough to be a good standalone shade. Sorry, I'm on my bed. I was like, what is that on my bed? Oops. <laughs> oh well. And this beautiful pink shimmer, this beautiful rose gold shimmer, this dark one has, it's more of a, a velvet, a, a satin, yeah, a satin. This nice dark one called Purple Peppermint. It looks more reddish in the pan, but it comes off more purple, brown. But it's really, really pretty. I did a look with that, and oh, yeah, I did leave something in here. I left two somethings in here. I am so sorry. I am not with it today. I used that and this 
which is another shadow that I used for a look and it was so pretty. I freaking loved it. It was one of my favorites. Talk about more things. Um, that is part of this. Yeah, yeah, I'm just getting organized here on camera. Life, right? Okay. Such a pretty palette. I will probably pull it out. I could use it all year long. Who cares if it's before Christmas? We just can use what we want to use and we don't worry about the world. But no, it was just sold at Christmas, so that's why. You can tell there's a lot of Christmassy colors, but you can do anything with it. Sorry, my hair. I know, I apologize a lot. While we're doing the rest of this, I um, pulled out this nice pretty gold. I did use it. It was really pretty. <laughs> really pretty. And I used this ColourPop one. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking gorgeous. I swatched this in my um, Shop My Stash for this. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you. Woo! Yikes. All right. Time, 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 time. Moving on. For my eyeliners. Actually, real quick, I'll go into my um, brows. I use this for my brows. I'm just going to probably end up using this up eventually because it's almost down to the nub. It's my Laura Geller. I don't even know what it's called because it's so small. But it's by Laura Geller. And it's a brow pencil by Laura Geller. It's um, super creamy. It's just too creamy. I need to tame these. And Eyeliners. Getting them all together. Oh, yes. I also used this, and I did kind of a similar look, like I said, with the. Yeah, and it, gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is such a beautiful pigmented shadow. This is by um, NYC, and it's so shimmery and blue and just gorgeous. I have this also in like a bronzy color. I wish they still made these. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be so sad when that's gone because I can't get it again, but it is what it is, you know? Okay. Um, I never used this, surprisingly. I pulled it back out. I had used it in a different sock, shop my stash. I pulled it back out, but I never used it. Sad, but beautiful color. Um, Urban Decay's um, in Chaos. And did use this. This is my Julep. And this is in Graphite Shimmer. Just not that shimmery in the eye. <laughs> oh yeah, this is my liquid um, eyeliner and it is the Cup for Girl Intensify Me. An intense black. I'm not certain I will repurchase this. Um, reason is, it's got that, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, it's got that fat liner on one and then you know turns thin it's really difficult to control I messed it up several times I'm saying it's bad I don't know I might I might who knows but and this one is the elf doodle pencil I used only the matte I think next time I pull it out I'm gonna to try to do something with this shimmer side it's really pretty coppery brown um, be all over and then yeah yeah you never know you never know Okay, moving on. I also pulled this out and never used it too. So I might pull it back out, just not this time. Or a lie. Christmas gold. I think I will. I know, right? I'm a little bit cray cray. <coughs> Let me make sure I have all my lipsticks. <laughs> Get on camera. My bad. Okay, probably not, but <laughs> probably not. This is actually, oh yeah, we'll get to the lipsticks in just right now. <coughs> oh, sorry, this one is going so long. Beautiful. I love. <coughs> I've used Elizabeth Arden before. I have four of them. It came in a big old set in this nice big old red tray face, I think. 
Look at all these straight cases. It's gorgeous. Look at this. I love this. I put all my loose shadows in them. <laughs> For now. But I think it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. And her lipsticks are amazing. Beautiful, pigmented, soft, creamy. Everything you would want. Pricey. But I don't think it's as pricey as people think. Especially when you can think about Elizabeth Arden. You think, ooh, yeah, pricey. No, not so much. This Makeup Revolution on the other end of the scale. Probably a $3 lipstick. This is in Pucker Up and Kiss It. Oh, MG. I'm actually going to put this in a um, Project Pan or some type of use up thing next year. So freaking gorgeous. This one is a go. Bye bye. Um, not for the color. Well, yes, for the color, not for the formula. And it's old and it's just. Yeah, it's not my color. So, yes for the color, yes for it being old, no because of the formula. Um, this, um, my bad. This Wet n Wild, beautiful, beautiful color. Stunning for what it is. This is in the shade. Tell you because I can't see it. Sorry. <laughs> and um, I had two liquid lipsticks. I had this one by. Then I have one more. I do. I pull out a lot, but I use them all month long. <laughs> this is a nice shimmery shade by Milani. I. It is a more neutral light shade. I don't know if it's the. I think this is chromatic matte, I think is the color. Yeah, something like that. Thing is, when I wore it, it it's fine for like the first hour, then it starts to break up. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. <coughs> it is old. I've had it for a minimum of three years, probably more. <coughs> and this elf one is gorgeous too. I love neutrals. Depends on the neutral. Um, you'll find out next one. Because I've already worn one and I'm going to give it away. That I'm like, huh, I'm not wild about that color. So, anyway, <coughs> I have one more and then four lip liners. Oh, mascara. I forgot about mascara. Yeah, I don't get with it. Mmm. This is the Mally Intensely Impactful. I remember showing you the balls in the last one. Yeah. Love the balls. <laughs> but it is a, an amazing mascara. I really like it. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. This comes off as a really pretty red color. Reddish brown. It's... I used it on top of, I believe, yeah, this shade of lip liner, and the two together came off of this really pretty red brownie color, and just the two combined were just gorgeous. I just thought it was really attractive, and a little bit of a, you know, a boy from that normal neutral but then I pulled out this which I never used ironically enough and I got lost in the bottom and I pulled out this did use this a couple times this is oh that was a color pop my bad that was a color pop that first one was an Ulta they both of them perfect no problems with it this is a palladio and as you can see I need to use it up It'll probably go in a project pan. Just say. And this is a wet wild, and it does have a color. Lay down the mobs. And I'm not gonna swatch it because 
Somebody said they didn't like swatches, and I'm like, oh, they may have. Okay, yeah, I lied. I just wanted to show you the color because you can't see it on in the tube. So, really pretty. Really pretty on. <clears throat> no problems. All right, shoot. 20 minutes. Woo! All right, finally done. Now, this is the fast part. next ones too and I apologize about all these I use these to clean off the brushes uh, <coughs> that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> okay Oop, yep how'd you get in there okay as always this is my container that I put it in so primers I'm gonna pull out my Lorgo Spectrum Speck yep mm -hmm. and my tart timeless timeless smoothing primer really does work I have used this I think it works I think it works amazing um, Tati likes it too um, I think she it's kind of a, a pretty much a staple for her right now I haven't seen her channel in probably a few months so maybe not no more but it was back at the beginning of the year. So, um, for my foundation, I'm trying out the coverage, Westmark Coverage Perfector. It is in the shade Fair. It's not fair. I'm using my Becca for my bronzer and my highlighter. And those are in the colors something and something. I could probably figure it out, but we probably don't need to go into it. It is in the color Opal for the highlight and Primera Sunset for the bronzer. Okay. We are going to do this fast, 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 fast. And I also pulled out my Josie Maran. Um, it's a very soft highlight. If I like to do it all over the face, take a big fluffy brush and go all over the face with it. It's really, really pretty. It's very subtle though, very subtle. But I really like it, nonetheless. Okay. So, as I said, I'm pulling back out my Morphe palette. One second, please. <laughs> Sorry, my son. I'm pulling out back out my Morphe 350M, and you saw that. Um, <clears throat> if you've never seen it, I will be happy to swatch it for you. If you'd like me to swatch it, I will swatch it on a separate video. Just holler at me. I will be happy to. I also pulled out my Morphe. Um, this is the tin tin C O N. It's a contour palette. So I'm gonna be using that this month instead of my Wet n Wild. So stays in there anyway. That's just where it has a home now. Um, I today am using the um, Urban Decay Distortion palette. I am wearing it. Looks like this. This shade, you would think, okay, you would think totally, totally, totally black, 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 right? It took me a minute to build it up. I cannot lie. This shade right here, this one in the corner called Velvet. This this one in the corner called Velvet. Sorry about the mirror. <laughs> Try not to blind you. This is actually really, really pretty. I have it on. Um, it looks like that. It's so pretty. I am so excited to use almost all of these. I'm wearing also this nice purple color in the middle. And across here, I am wearing, I'll show you that in just a second. I am wearing a different shadow, and I'll show you in just a second. It's also pretty. These shadows, though, just really, really pretty. Um, if I can do this without blinding you. 
I don't know if it's coming across, and I apologize, I'm a klutz Whoa. at heart, at real, I'm a klutz. Um, again, would be happy to do a swatch if you'd like. I am going to do a, um, I am going to start up my palette collection videos. Yes, I'm going to start the palette collection video where I do my palettes, and I'm going to probably be doing that again in about two years because it's going to increase. So, I'm actually two that are on the way that I'm going to do some video, some looks in a video, and I cannot wait. So, anyway, it's neither here nor there, and this video is getting long, 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 long. And I pulled out my, um, this is the other BH Cosmetics to go palette. Six. It's the Urban Lux Warm to Go Six Color Eyeshadow Palette by BH Cosmetics. And one more palette, and then I pulled out one single. Two singles. I'm a liar. No bear. Don't have to worry about it. This was a freebie, and L to about three to four times a year does freebie bags, and they're really up in their game and what they put in it. This is what was in it this time. I'm wearing this shade across the top. It is a bit shimmery. I don't care. And I've used both of these shades in looks before and gorgeous, gorgeous. They just really are pigmented for freaking free. I was just like, hello. There's that one, those two on the end. Gorgeous! Free! Holy freaking cow! I mean, way to advertise, Ulta. Put it in the bag, make me want to buy more. Heck yeah! And then for my single, I have two. This is Morphe Beautify. It is a gorgeous purple shade. I'm going to probably be using that in a single... I say in a single look, I just take it... I. I, yeah, yeah, I just, right here in the middle, smoke it out. I love that kind of look. I just think it's gorgeous. I did something like that today. Um, you will see it soon <laughs> on Instagram. And then this topper by um, Ulta also, really pretty. Didn't show up in pictures, but I could see it in real life, really pretty. It's called Fairy Princess. Okay, moving on. Holy moly. Sorry, keep looking at the time like, holy God, girl, you gotta move. You gotta move. Okay, I am wearing this, not this, not this. This was from last month. It is pretty. This is a Sephora liner. It's in, I forget what the color is called. Purple. Oh, that's right, purple stiletto. And he opens, she opens the door again. Sorry, forgot to mention my concealer and my powder. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to say anything, just that I'm using the, this is the Hard Candy Glamouflage. Nothing said, sorry, can't give it away. No spoilers. And this is the, um, I always forget the name of it. I want to say Galactic, it's not. It's that brand that everybody loves. It's the, like, something, oh my gosh. Glossier, Glossy, Glossier Wilder. Okay, and now we're just gonna mention these in passing fast. This is my um, Mali. It is in a nice purpley color. I believe it's just plum, royal plum. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm pulling this back out. Hopefully you can use that. I'm using my Tarte Man Eater for a black. I pulled out my Heavy Metal, uh, Urban Decay Heavy Metal, and don't ask me to cut it because, oh, that's actually not bad. It's Bendix. Interesting. Um, I pulled out my Zoeva Liquid Liner. I pulled out my two brown eyeliners, Wet n Wild, 
and it cosmetics and finally for a more coppery shade this is a Mally and this is in Lucky Penny for my mascara Christopher Buckle found my blusher told you I would and that does it for everything but the lips whoosh again really fast okay I pulled out my Rimmel Stay Matte in Be My Baby. I'm trying to pull out all the, leave just the liners in. Uh, Sure, you notice a theme going on here. I pulled this nice pinky one, this NYX soft lap matte lip, and row? No, Paris, Paris. <laughs> I know I have them all right here, as you can see. I'm just trying to hurry and do this quickly. Merely because I don't want a 45 minute to an hour video. Nobody likes it. <laughs> Unless you're chatty. Nobody just wants to see makeup for 45 minutes to an hour. This is in Berlin. It's also a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is an Essence. And this is in... Yep, not long lasting. Maybe it is long lasting. It's really pretty deep brown. I'm going to enjoy wearing that. Holy cow. I don't think it's in long lasting. I think that's the formula. There it is. Oh, time for a toffee berry. Break. Time for a toffee break. Oh, so cute. We did the rental statement. I pulled out this little Ulta thing for a topper. Ooh, smells like berries. Ooh, I like that. I'm wearing this one. This is Nude Sticks and it is in the color Haven. But you can see it on me. It's really pretty though. I pulled this out for a shimmer. I'm kind of glad because I had to get rid of my Milani and I actually kind of like that that metallic look. So this is by e.l.f. and this is in the color. I can see it. Pink Penny. Pretty penny. Pink penny. It would make sense. Pretty penny. If somebody I would have. <laughs> okay. I have two regular tube lipsticks. This one by um, YBF. That's the name brand. It's nice, pretty red. Thought I could toss in a red holidays, you know. And this one, huh? Getting it all over my shirt. This Wet n Wild, yep, nope, because that printing's too small, I'm not going to even try. I can find it out, but it's just, I'm not going to even try. It's nice, pretty pink. <laughs> so, I pulled out three lip glosses. Oh my gosh, aren't you proud of me? Because I haven't pulled out lip glosses in forever. And I love lip glosses. This is a Wet n or ColourPop, Wet n Wild, oh my gosh. A ColourPop. In head in the clouds and it's these this one's more of a topper it just has a touch of color to it just a touch even though it looks so pigmented in the bottle it's really not so these two however are this is also nope this is a Mally and I actually love her lip glosses her lip glosses are ball this is 
in the color. When she sold this set, I have to get this again. I don't think it's for sale, but I don't think she still has it. But oh my gosh, I can't read it. Kiss me. I think it's in Kiss Me. Because it says Kiss Me. Whoops! Kiss Me Lip Gloss. <laughs> and last but not least, L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Gloss. I was watching one of my girls and I'm like, yeah, that's me. I cannot see worth it. She was giving it to her grandson to read it because she couldn't read it. And I was like, yep, that's me. My eyes are going bad. Nope, can't read it. I'm going to give up. It's a really pretty color by um, L'Oreal. And I wore that, I think, yesterday. <coughs> or the day before. One of those. <laughs> okay. Lip liners, and then we are done. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> okay, I have this one by Urban Decay. It is broken. I have this one by Ulta, and it is not broken. It is Primrose. You can tell in the two what color that will be. I have, whoops, I have this one which I hopefully will wear, by Colourpop. And, oh, I can see, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh my gosh. Colourpop, you need to do your writing better. Oh, two, two lips, I believe. Yeah, I think this is two lips. Really beautiful deep purple. And then this is by Essence, and it is in the color melt your heart and yeah it's a really pretty raised rosy red color so that is it my long lengthy shot my stash video oh my gosh i am so sorry it takes me forever to do this one but there's so much to talk about so much to discuss almost all my lip products except for the ones that i told you about for the last couple weeks or last month i loved <coughs> unless i mentioned it um and if I mentioned it, that was a dud. That was the only duds. So everything else I liked, I loved, I want to keep using. I'm going to keep using on another day. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that good YouTube stuff, as my note would say. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Have a great day or evening or weekend. Bye.